closed. So you have a connection there until you push the switch. Mm -hmm. So normally closed, you push it, it's open. And here you have the two in the back that are normally open. They're open, in other words, they're not connected until you push the button, now they're closed. So which ones you use really depends on the application. You can use either one, uh, you just have to know. But sometimes, like if you have an emergency stop switch, you would probably want it to be normally closed, and then when you push it, it opens. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would have to, uh, it wouldn't, you know, you run it all the time. I had push button on my Bronco. Yeah. Yeah, turn the key on and then return the dash and start it. So I hook one end to hot, and then uh, let's see, what does our diagram tell us? That means the other end has to go to the switch, because common, so how would you know that? Well, I guess you would just have to know that. On here it tells you AC common, that's neutral. Is it always the third all over? Well, it says, it's where it says it is, right? On these I think it is. I think on the small ones it's also the third one. Because on that diagram in there it was too. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, the diagram should be, well, it's for a similar device. Okay. It's not for this one. Okay, so now I've got hot. I've got hot going to the switch, and then I'm going to take the switch and hook it to the input. So I go from the other connection. You able to zoom in on some of these switches and see these connections and stuff? Uh, let's see. Go to, I'll go to input zero. Good, now you're that close. We can all get up here and take a look, too. <laughs> we just don't want to be in there. Well, you could have got Yeah, don't, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, it's probably not going to turn out that well anyway. Uh, let's see. I should have a white wire, but probably not a new deal on there's one right there underneath that stool. There you go. Well, here's, a, here's a longer one right here. How long do you need? That's connected to Yeah. Here's one. Yeah, this one's not quite long enough. Well, let's see. One more. Whoops. Yeah, I got a little. What's up, TJ? Learning. Just keeping an eye. You know all this stuff. You need to show these guys how to do this. Okay, so from common, I'm going to go back to neutral, and then maybe we've succeeded. The screwdriver is just a touch too big, I think. Okay, it doesn't look real pretty, but I think it'll do the job. Okay, so here's your circuit. You got hot going to the switch, from the switch going to the input, from the input back to neutral. So when I push this button, because I'm using the normally open contacts, this input should show that it's uh, active. This indicator light should come on to show us that. So I'll go back to my so you see it goes through this little soft check. Uh, and uh, this output is on down here. That's just because the program must be set up that way. Uh, that has nothing to do with what I just did. So now when I push this button, how dramatic, huh? Mm -hmm. Output 0 comes on because that's the one I'm hooked to. If I move this over to output 1, then output 1 would come on. So, or input. If, if I moved it over to input 1, input 1 would indicate that it's got, a, got something coming in. So it's pretty common on inputs. And you'll see the same thing. These are modular inputs. You'll see the same thing up here. There'll be indicators telling you whether or not it's active, which can be useful tr for troubleshooting. 
Okay, and that's about it. So you uh, got any questions? Yeah, but I want to be. What, you don't want to be on camera?